four gaps. One of them that I have received today, variant made by BOMAC division. This is part of the cover that it comes with. So it looks like a beer. JAN6522, brand new one. It does have a screws in it. Although, there is another one that looks very much similar. The contacts are black. Those are copper. One of them is radioactive, one is not. Don't try to turn that. These lamps are 40, 50 years old, sometimes 30 years old, and uh, you simply lose the vacuum. This is the one that was fairly new. This part, it's dimmy. The reason for that is that when you plug that, you gotta have to have a sink, a cooling radiator. Oh, this is a brand new stuff that we used. I have a few of them. You can go here. Here's the, as you see, it's not a solid metal. It's made from rings. This is from different lamp, but you can clearly see uh, the hole. I'm gonna show it like that. This was a beauty. It's still packed. I open up this one. Now look at the comparison between Russian made, this one, and this is the Russian made, and the American made. Uh, you see the handle in the American one, the other one has a screw, but this is the screw the terminal in here. But basically, they are the same, the same diameter. Yeah, the heat sink is extremely important. There's two copper discs that you see in here, right? Those are the sides of the spark gap and supposed to be connected to the heat sink. So let's see how the heat sink looks like. At the bottom you see the T connector, on right hand side is the transmitter, on left hand side is the output to the antenna. Then you look at the half circular structure that is at the rear flanges left and right. Those are connectors um, to that heat sink and also it goes to the receiver on the top. Um, when the spark gap jumps, the receiver input is shorted through the spark gap. That's how it was protected. This is one point and this is point number two. Sharp tips of the spark gap. This is one flange. And then we have another one, which would be this one. Inside of heat sink, approximately somewhere in the middle of that flange. This is the insulator of the heat sink. Those are the flanges. This is a spark up by itself. A part of the plasma glow coning shape so that would be created like that a little bit narrower in this point and then you can represent the plasma glow this way this is the connection for the receiver of the rudder this part is a connector. This part in here 
and this part in here it's a metal and this one goes to this flange this one goes to this flange now you have a spark gap in the middle the, the tube was made with the air evacuated from this point this is a connector here for the transmitter and this is the L connector that goes to the transmitter the same signal goes from the transmitter in here to this center pin so both of them represent the same another model of the spark gap tube is the one that is presented in here V157 there is an American one also like that it could look also this way so it's not full body made from copper the heat sink is fastened with four screws in some of the Russian versions they have a little bit of glass bulb exposed and that's also for the plasma simplifying that now most of the Americans all of the Americans they have a clear glass as you see a little bit narrower in the middle and that's how the plasma is created so the upper part is has a gas on it the middle part where the vacuum is has a spark gap and how, that's how the uh, geometry of the spark gap look like you see there is a little bit different the lower part is sharp the upper part is empty and gives even distribution of the spark gap so this is important this is the adjustment of the spark gap never adjust it you're gonna lose the vacuum and this is how this thing looks inside okay now we see the contacts in here so this is one contact and this is a second contact those are the peaks of the contacts okay so let's put it this way the sharp points conical and there is a circle that is empty inside and that gives a um, shape of the plasma that is jumping in between a adjusting screw that would be this part okay so that's how JN 1B 24A is being packed okay for the first time it was under the pressure and here what we have that should be visible and I'm gonna pull it out completely new one Okay, that's how it is. What's that? I have no idea. What is that? It's powder. Powder. Oh, smells. This powder smells. Yeah. Okay. And uh, well, we gotta try to clean it up. Oh boy, this is beauty. Now let me see if there is a date of manufacturer. Well, it should be 777. That's what it looks like. So, 8797, 2007, 30, <laughs> 34 years old. Yeah, this is the model number. This is the model number. Yeah, yeah. 777. So, uh, it was waiting for me almost four years, right? Not that easy. The first one also looks blended? No, the first one, yeah, I have it in here. Show, show it in here. See? Okay. Very much similar to this. Uh, this one is very much similar. The, the difference is that this one is now the full metal. And also requires a heat sink, but I didn't damage this one other than just turning the screw and show this one you see in here this one and this one is exactly like the one that I've got my wife is helping me so maybe this is grease sand <laughs> yeah yeah grease sand right right 
It's smelly. It's all too It must be smelly. <laughs> How do you call it? The women use for for the nails? I'm Polish. Polish. Okay. Mm. I can treat it with this. Okay. So this one's supposed to be not even all the ring, because it's almost no no way for that to be done. It was sealed under the pressure. Uh, there is no warranty on it, and long. Interesting spark gap in here. I wouldn't bother to even play with that. Also, evacuation piping for that one. That's how it looks like. And that's how it looks like. It's just a part of the waveguide. You see in here the evacuation pipe, the receiver, and then you have a transmitter that goes in here. See, evacuation pipe, receiver, the same story is here. Now this Russian beauty is very interesting. Looks like removable one, you can exchange the parts in it take it out and this is the here you see the glass tube here are the beauties that we have here This is very similar to the one that I was showing before. But it's a big one. Worthless without the heat sink. This beauty is done differently. As you see, one of the electrodes is in form of the loop kind of washer also to contacts this is good stuff that's how it looks like um, working good and some kind of sand in here if you if you see trying to show it better okay well that that's how it's made now this one it's radioactive the gap is a little bit too big for the project And this one, you see the difference between those two? None of them was working for me. And now this is a treasure, mostly for historical value, and I've got that from John Hutchison, the inventor of anti-gravity devices and a guy who was very much involved with very much controversial uh, uh, testimony for Dr. Judy Wood when she was in trial. Okay, now this, not strong enough, I have damaged one. It was working beautiful, but I have damaged one. So this one, I don't want to even try it. Okay. 
Well, to others, this is extremely rare stuff. Uh, almost impossible to get it. I've seen only one, I've got this one. Now most of them, they have this kind of rot and becomes bluish. It allows you to tune to the maximum of the power transferred. Now this one, Russian, Oh, it's Bomak, also Bomak. Now, the problem with this is, as you see, something cracked in it, and also there is a crack on, on the glass. But I'm sure it's working. <laughs> I gotta try it next time. Okay, so, this is my collection of the spark gap tubes. Piece of good history. Thank you. Yeah.